Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about uh, the second game of a uh, three game series uh, between uh, the Minnesota Twins and the Kansas City uh, Royals. This is a big series for both teams. Um, the Royals, they just haven't come to play so far in this series. Uh, the pitching uh, hasn't been there. The starters for the Twins have been great. Pablo Lopez was great last night. And they actually had a guy making their uh, MLB debut tonight. Zeping Matthews in, uh, in the minor leagues at 104 strikeouts to 7 walks. It's like, when I saw that stat, I'm like, that has to be fake, right? But no, it was actually a true stat. He made his major league debut tonight, and he was great. Out pitched Seth Lugo in his MLB debut. And the Royals. They haven't looked at these first two games. They got dominated yesterday, and they got dominated here tonight. They gave up runs in seven and six of the eight innings. Yeah, in six of the eight innings, they gave up one or more runs. It's just their pitching was bad tonight. <clears throat> you gotta give credit to Xavier Matthews, though. He showed out in his MLB, MLB debut. 5.0 five innings pitch, 5 hits, 2 earned runs, no walks, 5 strikeouts. So I want to give credit to Xavier Matthews and not just gloss over his uh, really good MLB debut. Striking out 5 batters and it struck out Bobby Witt Jr. for his first ever strikeout. Uh, striking out an all-star right there. But I want to get back to the Royals for a second. And the Royals, they're a good team. They beat them on bad teams like they should, but they really struggle against... T against teams with a winning record, and that's fine, because, yeah, it's August. Um, you are you are what you are at this point. They're a much improved team from last season. They deserve a lot of, a lot of credit for improving their team from being one of the worst to um, a good team. But they're being the bad teams like they should, but they're struggling against good teams. But you've got to avoid a dev devastating sweep tomorrow with uh, Cole Reagans against Bailey Ober, but Bailey Ober, though, he's had some success lately. His last start, he had six innings with nine strikeouts. But now you've got to avoid it with Reagans against Ober, who's been rolling lately. Even with even even with you having past success against him in the past, so you just gotta hope they can win win that one. And yeah, a lot has been made about the Minnesota Twins struggle against top teams, but the wins have to come somewhere, and they've really built up a lot of tiebreaker credit by being the crap of upper middle. If needed, they have a clinch tiebreaker over Kansas City, Houston, Seattle. Like, they have a lot of tiebreakers. And Zebby Matthews earned his first career at MLB win. And a big 13-3 win and take the season series, which come in, could come in handy near the end of the season, say, if, if they were tied, because they were 7-2 against Kansas City uh, this year. Uh, just an, an easy win for the second night in a row. Um... Kepler was great. He had a he had a three run homer and four RBIs. Uh, Jose Miranda comes up a home run short of hitting for the cycle. The offense was just great overall. I'll say, like the offense was just great overall. And uh, Seth Lugo a season high, uh, I believe eight runs, seven earned. A thirty pitch first was the most he threw in an inning this season. He really struggled just throughout the whole game. From the first inning on, really struggled. Um, Seth Lugo wasn't his night. Wasn't his night. Four innings, nine hits, seven earned runs, two walks, four strikeouts. Just a really bad night from Seth Lugo. A season high, eight runs allowed. And he hasn't really had many bad outings this year, but a bad time to have a bad outing uh, for Seth Lugo. And the Royals dropped to 65 and 55. Uh, Chris Stratton, we'll get to the rest of their pitchers here, and we'll go over the Twins bullpen as well and the offensive stats. And then the final score hits, runs, airs, and scores in each inning. Uh, Chris Stratton, 1.2 innings, 2 hits, 200 runs, 1 walk, no strikeouts. Will Smith, 1.1 innings, pitch, 3 hits, 300 runs, 1 walk, 1 strikeout. So the pitching from Seth Lugo on just wasn't good until... James MacArthur threw a scoreless inning. One hit, one inning, one hit, no one runs, no walk, struck out two. So, that's their pitching lines. The pitching just overall, outside of this overall. Seth Lugo, Chris Stratton, Will Smith, just oof, not good 
a combined 14 hits for 12 runs and 30 walks and 5 strikeouts from those three. For the Twins, Stephen Okert, one inning, one hit, one run, no walks, no strikeouts. Caleb Thilbar, one inning, no hits, one run, no walks, he struck out one. And Josh Winder, two innings, one hit, no runs, no walks, he struck out three. So we'll go over the records right quick. I just get that out of the way. 67 and 52 now for the Twins. Royals 65 and 55. The Twins had 13 hits tonight for 13 runs, no errors. They scored three in the first, uh, one in the third, one in the fourth, three in the fifth, three in the sixth, and two in the seventh. Kansas City, seven hit three runs for one air, one in the second, one in the fifth, and one in the sixth. So they scored one run in three innings, and in those three innings each. Now we'll go over the offenses here for the Twins. Castro was one for four, the Lewis one for five in RBI. Uh, Kyle Farmer pinch hit, hit a two run homer. He was one for one, two RBIs. Walner, two for four in a walk. Miranda, three for five, two RBIs. Um, Santana, 0 for three, two walks. I mentioned Kepler, three for five, four RBIs. Margot, one for five, one RBI. Um, Vasquez, 1 for 3, 2 RBIs, and Martin, 2 for 4. For the Royals, Massey, 2 for 4 in RBI, Witt Jr., 1 for 3, Pasquantino, 0 for 4, um, Salvador Perez, 1 for 4 in RBI, uh, Melendez, 1 for 4 in RBI. Those two each hit solo homers, I guess the only positives from this game. Uh, for Mean, 1 for 4, Frazier, 0 for 2, Garcia, 0 for 3, and Isabel, 1 for 3. So those are your stats, all your stats from tonight. Just that's my overall final thoughts is a um, good debut from Zebby Matthews. Um, a, ma a maxed out offense from the from the Twins. The twins are looking like a dangerous threat, man. They can low-key be a, a sleeper team. I'm not going to lie. They can low-key be, be a sleeper team. I don't know why I think. I just think they can be a sleeper. It's like a win fit for royalty. Yeah, good win for the Twins. Um, that's really all I got to say here, so until next time, have a lot. Peace. I'll see you guys for the Dodger game tonight on the sheet.